Hello everybody, today's How Long is Cool Knife Corner number, I don't know yet because I haven't uploaded any of these yet, but uh, I wanted to talk to you about two knives from Static Knives, the first of which is the Ski Bones, and the second of which is the Icarus. Um, I have been spending some time with both these. I made a first impressions of the Icarus earlier, uh, and now I have the Ski Bones. Uh, the Ski Bones is a rehandle of the BRS uh, bare bones, which from what I hear is not that good, but the ski bones is interesting. Uh, there are, I think like 10 of these, I think he only made about 10 of these and they're all different. Uh, so like mine has aluminum spacers, uh, and some of them have titanium and some of them are different. Uh, and I got this, uh, anodization by blocks toys. Uh, it is like this green with gold in the middle and it's supposed to be like blue on the inside but it's a little hard to see uh in this lighting uh, and so there are a couple of things that i want to say about the ski bones first things first it's a very skeletal frame uh full uh no well it's a sandwich uh and it, it it's got so much milling and so it actually is really lightweight and neutral and it sounds really interesting uh, it's, it's hard to get one of these, uh, and I, I had a negotiation quite for a bit to, to get one of these, and then I didn't actually get it for a while, because I sent it to Blocks to get anodized, and, and that took some time to get done right. Uh, but, uh, there's a couple of things that uh, I want to say. Uh, I guess the first thing I want to say is that this is a no longer in production knife, uh, so whatever criticism that I have, don't take it to heart about Static Design's uh, current production, uh, because since then, uh, he also made the Artemis, which was based off of this, but instead of a reblade of the bare bones, it was a full, unique knife. Uh, and uh, and now, of course, the Icarus, which uh, I will talk about how much I love later. Uh, so the Ski Bones is <laughs> sharp in all the wrong places, is my first criticism. Part of which is... Uh, BRS's fault. Uh, the horns are sharp. I had to sand down the horns. These horns are really sharp. Uh, and honestly, where the Zen pin hits the back of the blade, that part's pretty sharp too. And I've, I've sanded that down a little bit, but like, I, it, it used to hurt to do some just chaplains. It's still kind of, I still feel like I need to sand down the, the Zen pin area in the back a little bit. Uh, but it's just a lot. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, also, down here, these are really pointy. I've sanded some of this down, and I feel bad because it's already been anodized. And I'm like, I care more about my hands not getting... getting sta like, literally sanding it, it, like, poked a hole in the sandpaper. Um, uh, so that, just to give you an idea of, like, how sharp these are. Uh, but don't get me wrong. I still think this is really cool. Uh, not... Uh, not Statics' fault, um, I got this second hand, uh, the Zen pin screws, uh, one of mine are, like, really sharp, and they're kind of stripped. Maybe that is a criticism about the hardware quality. I hate T8 screws. I feel, I'm like, what's the difference between T10 and T8? Blah, blah. The T8 one's just stripped so easily. I feel like every T8 screw I've used, it just strips, um... And I'm just not a fan of when your screw, your pivots don't have holes on the other side because uh, my spacers I cannot tighten because uh, the entire thing rotates whenever I try and screw them. Uh, that said, this is still really fucking cool. And I've never seen anything like this with such a skeletal frame. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's neutral. It flips pretty easily. Um, it has a very unique sound. Um... The tolerances are a little wonky. I don't know how or why there is play. Uh, thankfully, I don't currently have tap. I think it has had tap in the past. And uh, no matter what I try to do, it still has play. I was like, maybe I can get steel washers. This, the, these uh, BP washers are, are PB, PB? Phosphor brown? Yeah. PB washers are really thick. And my steel washers from Remshi are quite thin uh so they don't fit it's just it just doesn't fit so uh i've stuck with the washers that i got with these i don't 
honestly think there's any particularly like crushed side there there's like maybe one uh the bushings seem to be pretty well tuned uh so it doesn't seem like that there's oversized either uh so there's play no one knows why <laughs> i don't know why blocks didn't know why the seller didn't know why uh yeah but now i want to talk to you about the icarus uh i have talked earlier in my first impressions about wow this knife is so cool um and like all of statics's design so far they have these very distinct sort of like angular pointy uh handles uh and if you like pirouettes or palm spins or whatever they're called i don't really know if you could do that especially not with those ski bones because that would hurt um Thankfully, these corners are much softer. Uh, this is a titanium knife. This is aluminum. And so some illuminators out there might just instantly write it off. But I, I do say, give it a chance. Uh, I have a couple of complaints that I want to get out of the way first. Um, I will talk about how much I like this. But my first complaints, um, because it's aluminum, it is slippery. The back, uh, the back sides, there is no texture here at all. It is blocky rectangular handles, which makes ladders very tricky. And there's no texturing up here either. There's no jimping uh, on either face. And uh, on the faces, uh, there is very, very slight grooves. They're more aesthetic than actually functional. You could argue there's grip here, but it's it's not really grippy, I would say. It's, it's mostly just aesthetic. Um, it's a little bit of grip. So I guess uh, if I were to ask for a an update, my first thing is like subtle, maybe subtle lines all the way down here. I don't even think traditional jimping is something I would ask for. I wouldn't want horizontal lines because, I mean, I guess you could say that it would match here. Uh, but part of what I like about the design language is are these vertical lines that everything just seems to point upward. Like, like they're wings. It's like these wings that they're going upward. Uh, hilariously, when it's closed, it looks like a cicada. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, I think some lines vertically going down, if, if you wanted to do horizontally, that, that would help too. Uh, on, but, but maybe vertically going here. And that actually gets to my second point because uh, if you can see this little dot here, apparently my knife slapped once. I cannot get it to slap again. But uh, if you look at the safe handle and the blade, it like, here, I might need to do this way. It, it hits once slightly to the side. Just, it literally only did it once. Uh, but because it's aluminum, aluminum soft. Um, I think the channel just needs to be extended literally like two to three millimeters. Like it's, it's so barely. Like at that point I'm like, oh, that, that could have been completely avoided if that if that groove was just slightly extended outward. And honestly, I think if the groove was extended outward a little bit more and then having like a vertical line upward here uh, or multiple vertical lines like in threes or, or just the one the same width, that would provide some grip. I don't think that would remove too much material. I doubt that it would be significant to remove like a little bit more here that'd probably be like a tenth of an ounce at most uh on the back here if it was like subtle very very thin lines that would probably also be like i would say 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 it would probably be like really really small amount so i don't think it would affect the balance i don't think it would affect the uh i don't know i don't it would probably affect the tone a little bit but Honestly, probably very minimally. And and the thing about it is, now, now let me talk about what I love. First things first is the sound. The sound is incredible. It it just rings, it sings, and I don't have a knife that rings like this yet. I think this is incredible sounding. Uh, unfortunately, it makes my roommate <laughs> very irritable because I had to drop it at least once. Um, yeah, people who get overstimulated might hate this. So, uh, alas... Uh, it is very ringy dingy. You don't like ringing. This is not the knife for you because she rings. Holy shit. Um, if Zippy ever makes inserts, maybe that would stifle the ring and make it slightly more handle bias. It is, it is, it's a little handle bias. 
not too not too handle bias, but it is a little handle bias. There is some ass weight down here. There's no there's no screws down here, but just with how much chunky material is here left, opposed to everything that's been milled out uh, along the sides of the faces. Uh, yeah, this is also an incredibly long knife, uh, as I've mentioned before. The let me see what's a I was gonna use my Cygnus, but I left it in the other room. Let's just use the Orion. Uh, this knife is just so long. The handles are really long. Long, actually. Here, let me find. Um, both of my machine wise knives are in the other room, but the handles are just super long. I, I guess let me see the Barracuda. Um, handles are longer than the Barracuda. That's like that's so long. So these handles are like. I do believe longer than anything else I have, including machine-wise knives, which are known for having extremely long handles. Um, despite that, and typically I like shorter knives, uh, which is not what I expected when I first got into flipping, uh, I, I don't mind these handles being so long. Um, I also think it's like, it's honestly, it's funny because of just how much weight there is down here because of how much space there is um and even like like comparing this much to this much it, it, it just feels laughable almost how much there is uh, i also just i love this blade shape i don't know what this is called it's i think like the goose kind of looks like this from what i can tell but like just like this recurve back here is is really nice and it gets this points here um, this blade was also extremely sharp. I have sanded it down a little bit just because I it was so sharp. It was razor sharp. I got cut so many times uh, just learning this knife. Um, but uh, if you want like a stupidly sharp knife, this is incredibly sharp out of the box. And uh, I just love this. Also with the, the, the black blade, it looks really nice. My friend has like a, a polished blade. Mine is black with like these sort of like I don't know if that's stone wash, like, but there's this like mild speckles. Uh, I think this knife is gorgeous. The screws are just pretty too. T10 press fit, um, and yeah, it's just one. It's just one pair of screws. There's no spacers. There's no weights on the bottom, uh, and the Zen pins are press fit. So it's it's really it's really easy to tune for all things considered, uh, and I it's. Despite it being blocky, and I prefer rounder handles, despite it being so long, and I prefer shorter handles, despite it having weight at the end of the long handles, which I prefer not because it makes, typically it makes like extended full, whoa, that was a little scary. It makes a little bit, uh, it makes extended full twirls a little harder. Uh, but despite that, I still like that. I still like how it feels. I like how it flips. There's enough momentum for when you're doing rollover related things. Oh man, that felt really good. Uh, and uh, what else? I mean, it is—it's like under four ounces, so it's not that heavy. But the blockiness, the length, the handle bias, and like the weight, the ass weight at the end of the handles. Uh, typically, that's like the opposite of what I like. Um, trying the Prisma V1, didn't like the ass weight. Didn't like how long it was. Didn't like how blocky it was. Prisma is great. It's great, but it wasn't for me. And I—I I felt I felt like with the, without the weights at the end of the handles, it felt blade bias, so uh, it felt off. Or it felt off just doing anything that wasn't an extended full twirl. Uh, the Prisma Pro I like much more, um, and it does feel neutral without the weights at the end of the handles. So it's also less blocky. It's it's much more rounded. Um, the these are quite blocky handles. Um, nicely chamfered. It's very very like smooth. Doesn't hurt at all compared to anything that's highly angular. Um, but yeah, the Icarus, if, if you're like, mm, that doesn't seem to suit my preferences. First things first, this is just beauty. This is, this is just artistically designed. I love it. I love how it looks. Uh, but uh, my, only, my only complaints, just extend the channel oh so slightly. Just, just make that channel slightly longer to prevent slap from ever happening because that just, it just feels bad, and it feels like this just this mark is sad. Hi, hi, Kyo. Um, and uh, honestly, having a little bit grip here by extending the channel all the way, or making very subtle vertical lines, and having 
I know it's another it's another milling process, but having a little bit of texture on this face would go a long way. Also, just this aluminum anno looks just gorgeous with this splash. And uh, if I were to say something along the lines of like, oh, it's like the sun uh, and the deep blue ocean, uh, it's on the opposite side. Like it, it it's like regardless is always on on uh, <laughs> on this side is the blue is always on this side. Uh, but like, oh, the deep blue ocean and the blazing hot red sun. That's just, I, I like to think of that for this color. I wanted also the cotton candy, not that one, but I, ex I think I like this one more. And then originally I thought this was the Artemis when I first saw it being listed because too many listers don't list the goddamn name of their knives. I don't know why. I thought this was the Artemis at first. So I wanted this sort of dark green and gold, like the forest and like this sort of golden bow thing, but it's the ski bones. So, uh, just pretend that the thematics are for the Artemis. Anyways, uh, Static Knives really love the Icarus. Uh, if there's ever a slight change, honestly, like a 1.5, I don't even think it counts as a 2.0, uh, that would go a long way. Uh, that amount of grip would probably make this take it to the next level. Um, and uh, I know there's also a cleaver blade. Um, that looks really cool too. But frankly, the default blade looks fucking gorgeous. Um, also, I never brought up the fact that it has really, really wide thighs. Just the thigh gap is huge. Um, but anyways, I think they're great. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, oh, I guess I should also say ladders are really hard on this. Ladders are super duper hard. I'm not amazing at ladders to begin with. Uh, but if you're trying to learn ladders, I would not start on this one. Um, now I can say thanks for tuning in. If you like this, like, subscribe, whatever, all that jazz. But also check out, uh, consider throwing a couple bucks towards my coffee because uh, I love collecting battle songs. And if you like hearing about battle songs that no one is talking about, I've never seen anyone talk about this knife. If you want to hear about battle songs that no one's talking about, um, please throw a couple bucks my way. It helps. And I get to make more content like this. So... Have a wonderful day and happy flipping.